Southwood Lads and Girls Club. And to show you our rehearsals, which take place every single Tuesday for the show, Hollywood with a Twist. Come on in. which uh, opens the doors to opportunity for young people aged 13 to 24. Alright, so um, what is Ollie with a Twist? Ollie with a Twist is a show which is being uh, produced by the Salford Foundation, but the reason that the show is coming on is because the Salford Foundation applied for a um, big lottery funding, and the big lottery gave us all this pot of money, and what they wanted us to do was put on a variety show with the young people from Salford, Me, yeah. like you. And then they wanted us to put on a variety show. So um, we got all the young people together from Salford and then they decided that they wanted to put on um, Ollie with a Twist, which is a variety show, but it's a twist on the original story of Oliver. All right. Well, the music's come along really well. Obviously when we started it was a bit, because Oliver music's quite tough, a lot of harmonies, a lot of uh, timing issues which are quite complicated, but um, I was surprised when I first walked in at how vocally talented um, the, uh, the cast was. Um, how do you think it's going to go on the actual show? I think on this show, I think it's going to go really well. I mean, we've got, we've had lots of rehearsals and everyone's characters are developing more. The more the characters develop, obviously, vocally, it, 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 it all comes together. So, um, and we've got a week before the show of full rehearsals, which I think will go really well. So I'm not worried, not at all. We're outside here talking to Mark, who's the director of Ollie with a Twist and he's in charge of the script writing and also the acting. So Mark, tell us a bit about the script and how you got it together. Um, well originally we, we started off with the, um, the actual Oliver the Musical script and um, we had a workshop with um, some, some of the young people that are in the show and we got together a load of ideas um, how we might change different characters to make them more contemporary and then um, I went away with all those ideas and tried to formulate a script and, and it's also changed along the way as well depending on um, how people's characters de have developed so um, that, that's how we did the script yeah and about the acting as well how's that coming along um, the, it's great and there's been a lot of surprises actually you know there's, there's some really really strong performances and it's, it's always um, quite strange how some people that start off being really good lose a little bit of confidence along the way and some people who you thought would struggle start to bloom um, so we've got some really really strong performances okay thank you this is Lou the dance teacher so Lou what do you think of the dance I think the dances are great and I think the um, performers have put quite a lot into the dancing all right so um, what kind of dances do you have we've got a range of different dance styles ranging from um, street dance to musical theatre I'm here talking with Fran, who's in charge of the Arts Award. So Fran, just tell us what is the Arts Award? Okay, so the Arts Award is a qualification. Um, it's run in three um, tiers. You've got bronze, silver and gold. Um, bronze is probably worth D and GCC. Gold, uh, silver is worth an A and gold is worth an AS level. And there's a qualification uh, for performing arts. You have to do um, mini projects, you have to be 
audience members, you have to make a portfolio, and it's a really good way to kind of be rewarded for the work you're doing. Right, I'm here with Molly, who took part in a bronze arts award. So Molly, can you please tell us what you did? Um, well, I created like a booklet kind of sketchbook, like at home, and then I decided to put like big pictures and board writing to make it more. And um, was it hard? It was hard. Like, it took me about two weeks overall, but then I think I could have improved it when I was doing the last evaluation of it. Would you do another award again? Um, yes, I'd like to take part in the silver award, like in a few years. Okay. Um, for my Silver Arts Award we had to create a portfolio um, and I choreographed a dance for it, you had to agree an arts challenge. Um, I did a, a choreography um, which two of the members of Soul Foundation took part in, um, as well as creating a portfolio about um, what you've done and how, how it's improved your talents um, and things about um, your arts heroes um, and um, uh, going to see a show as well. Um, did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, it was really good fun. I really, really enjoyed the challenge of like choreographing something because I've never done it before, so it was really fun. Thank you. 